Hello there Future ACCAs, this is Vishnu Vijay, a proud FinTrammer and I welcome you all to another session of the revision short series for the Audit and Assurance paper. So folks, in this session, we will be discussing about one of the most commonly tested topics within the exam, that is Audit Risk. So what is Audit Risk all about? Let's understand that first of all, shall we? Audit Risk is basically the risk that the auditors may provide an incorrect opinion on the financial statements. Okay, that's clear. So when it comes to the audit risk, there are certain components to it that creates it. Okay, folks, first of all, let's talk about that, shall we? There are three basic components. First of all, there is the inherent risk. The inherent risk is the risk inherent within the organization. Okay, folks, so the risk caused due to the nature or, you know, uh, industry of that particular organization. For example, if we are auditing a fast moving organization, uh, such as let's say the textiles industry or any technological industry there are there's an increased risk that the inventory of these sort of organizations may be obsolete isn't it so this is just an example of an inherent risk of the organization okay folks so this is as to, as to what it is now secondly we also have control risk as well control risk is basically the risk that the internal control systems within the organization may not be operating effectively and they will not be able to prevent or detect any fraud or error from the financial statements. And then we finally have the detection risk as well. The detection risk is basically the risk that the some of the errors within the financial statements may go undetected by the auditors. This can be caused due to two other risks. Either it could be or there would be an increased level of detection risk due to sampling risk or non-sampling risk as well. Sampling risk is basically the risk that the samples that we have selected to conduct our testing on may not be representative of the entire population. Okay, folks? And non-sampling risk are those risks which are, you know, other than sampling risk. Okay, folks? So, for example, if the audit client is a new client and if we haven't necessarily planned enough audit procedures to be conducted or if we haven't planned enough procedures to gather sufficient and appropriate audit evidence then chances are our audit uh, opinion would be incorrect isn't it so that's basically some of the non sampling risk uh, as part of detection risk as well okay folks so that's basically as to what the entire picture of audit risk is all about and one more point to note is that the function of inherent risk along with control risk is what we would call the risk of material misstatement as well. Okay, folks, as simple as that. So this is the basic concept of audit risk. Now, let's understand how this will be tested in the exam, shall we? Because we can't just, you know, learn all the theory itself. Isn't it? We have to understand what can be tested in the exam as well, isn't it? So in your exam, either these particular set of topics could be uh, tested as maybe a, a direct theory question for maybe four to five marks or there, could, there, is, there, there is a high chance that in your exam you will be given a scenario and you would be required to point out the audit risks from that particular scenario and you will also have to provide an auditor's response to it as well. So there are for each audit risk that you identify there are two marks okay folks one mark is for identifying and explaining the audit risk and the other mark is for providing the response okay folks this is basically how this structure would work like now there is a structure that you can follow in order to present your answer here for each of the audit risk identified identify the risk first of all by you know copy pasting instances from the scenario and maybe rephrasing it a little bit that's basically it and secondly what you have to do is you have to explain why exactly that particular point is considered as a risk and then what you have to do is you also have to state the impact of that particular risk on the financial statements of the organization. Is there an overstatement or is there an understatement uh, of some aspects of the financial statements? Then you have to point that out uh, specifically as well. Okay, folks. And then finally, we provide a response as to what the auditor auditing needs to do as uh, we have uh, as we have detected such a risk. Okay, folks. So that's basically how to right or how to structure your answer in the exam for these kinds of questions. All I wanted to cover in this small session, I will see you later in the next uh, session where we will be discussing some more, something more interesting. Okay, folks, another, another aspect that I'd like to point out is that if you want to conduct a full-fledged revision on the entire uh, you know, syllabus of audit and assurance, then feel free to check out 
the revision bootcamp that we provide. There's a link down in the description uh, regarding this. Okay, folks.